a state officer has been an amazing experience. And we have now come to the point in the convention that our team hands over the reins to the next group of individuals that will lead our state for the coming year. To conduct the nomination, election, and installation of the 2014-2015 Kentucky FFA State Officers, please welcome back to the podium, podium State President Brian Chisholm. change the face of the agriculture industry. I want to show Kentucky FFA members that they're part of something bigger than themselves. I want to be an ambassador for agriculture and the FFA organization. Because with this jacket, we can go beyond all limits. I want to advocate for agriculture. Hashtag KYFFA. To encourage FFA members to hold themselves to the highest standards. I want to be a positive influence to all FFA members around Kentucky. Where else can someone have the opportunity to influence and meet over 14,000 youth that share similar goals and interests in the agricultural field? Because of the impact agriculture education has had on me. I want to encourage FFA members to pursue service in their home and communities. Because in the words of Gandhi, I want to be the change I wish to see in the world. I want to be a role model to the younger members and be someone they can always look up to. I want to ignite passion for agriculture and the FFA in our members. Because smiles are contagious. Because I want to influence members the way that past and current state officers have influenced me. I have an immense love for the FFA and I want to bring that to the table. I hope to encourage college and career readiness. To show students that you don't have to grow up on a farm to excel in this organization. Because I want to be the umbrella for those who have their rainiest days. I want to encourage FFA members to climb mountains despite all odds. I hope to display to members that there is always a place for them in the FFA, regardless of their interests or career ambitions. I want to help FFA members reach their maximum potential. I want to provide FFA members with the opportunity to create everlasting memories. It is now time for one of the very, very most exciting parts of State Convention. We will now learn who the next leaders of our association will be for the coming year. I now call to the podium the co-chairman of the State Officer Nominating Committee and past Kentucky FFA State President, Ms. Allie Higgs, to bring the report from the Nominating Committee. The nominating committee met on June 9th in the Kentucky room of the Hyatt Hotel with the challenging task of selecting 12 state officers to lead our organization in the year to come. These 11 members that served on the nominating committee have put in hours of service to ensure that we selected the best set of officers in a fair manner. The members of the nominating committee are Representing the Big Sandy River region from the East Carter FFA chapter, Taylor Burnett. From the Bluegrass region in the Scott County FFA chapter, Jana Klein. Representing the Capital City region from the Woodford County FFA chapter, Rachel Glass. From the Green River region in the Butler County FFA chapter, Van Darty. Representing the Kentucky River Region from the North Laurel FFA Chapter, Jada Imoff. From the Lake Cumberland Region in the Lincoln County FFA Chapter, Israel Mullins. Representing the Licking River Region from the Montgomery County FFA Chapter, Amanda Arnett. From the Lincoln Trail Region in the Washington County FFA Chapter, Mason Carrico. Representing the Northern Kentucky Region from the Ryle FFA Chapter, Kirsten Conley. From the Penny Ryle Region and the Hopkins FFA Chapter, Paige Stallings. 
and representing the Purchase Region from the Carlisle County FFA Chapter, Starla Hicks. Let's give this group another round of applause for their efforts this week. I will now dismiss the nominating committee. Thank you. As past president, I'm the vice chair of the nominating committee. I'm confident when I say that we have selected a highly talented and qualified group of individuals from a variety of chapters across the state. The candidates were put through a challenging interview process and were faced with a week of hard work to help convention operate this year. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the delegate body, I present to you the 2014-2015 Kentucky FFA State Officer Team. For another year, the Executive Secretary from the Kentucky River Region, Matt Colliff. The State Advisor from the Lake Cumberland Region, Brandon Davis. The Lake Cumberland Region, State Vice President from the McCreary Central FFA Chapter, Cody Pryor. <laughs> the Penny Ryle Region State Vice President from the Hopkins Central FFA Chapter, Caitlin Wyatt. as read. There is an implied second. Are there any nominations from the floor? 
Seeing none, are you ready for the question? All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. All those opposed, motion carries. The chair will now entertain a motion from the floor to elect the slate of candidates to the offices as presented by the nominating report. The chair recognizes Brandon Phillips from Lincoln Trail. The chair recognizes Brandon Phillips from Lincoln Trail. Is there another delegate that would like to make the motion? Please state your name and chapter. Thank you. Is there a second from Savannah Stowe of Boyle County? Please state your name and chapter for us. Thank you. We shall now proceed to vote. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. All those opposed? Motion carries. Will the state officers please present the candidates and take their places for the installation ceremony. Austin, as president-elect, you have been elected to lead our fellow members to be the leader of our association for the coming you are therefore responsible for guiding our association in all its worthy undertakings. May you work intelligently and seriously to fulfill the responsibilities of your office. Congratulations. Charity Adams, as Vice President-elect, you have those qualities of leadership which we all should possess. You are to assist the President in directing the work of our association, preside over meetings in his absence, and keep all committees working effectively. Congratulations. Daryl M. Browning, as Secretary-elect, you have been chosen to keep accurate minutes of our meetings and carry on association correspondence. You can provide the association with the order of business and committee assignments for each meeting. You should also keep a list of members, a record of degrees awarded, and have custody of the Constitution and bylaws. Congratulations. Jessica, as Treasurer-elect, you've been placed in a position of trust. Your duties require you to keep an accurate record of receipts and disbursements and to provide regular financial reports. It is also your responsibility to assist in developing the association budget and maintaining sound financial practices. Congratulations. Caitlin Ross, as reporter-elect, your duty is to inform, the, to inform the public about the FFA. You are expected to work closely with news media, including state and national FFA publications. You should keep a record of photographs and articles published concerning the FFA and its members and be responsible for compiling our FFA history. Congratulations. Sarah, as Sentinel-elect, your duties include welcoming our friends, caring for the meeting room and FFA equipment, and providing for the comfort of our members and guests. It is also your duty to conduct and assist in meetings and ceremonies. Congratulations. Alex, as Purchase Region Vice President-elect, you've been selected for state office to not just represent your region, but the whole association. I hope you always keep a mind for service and heart for agriculture. And never lose sight of those who you represent. Congratulations. Caitlin, as the Big Sandy State Vice President-elect, it is your duty to serve beyond yourself, lead beyond expectations, and beyond typical, but above all else, live beyond all limits. Congratulations. Catherine, as Barron River State Vice President-elect, you have been elected to a position of leadership with whom much is given, much is required. You are to encourage, inspire all 14,000 FFA members. Best of luck. Tori, as Northern Kentucky State Vice President-elect, you have proven that you hold both the agriculture and the FFA close to your heart now get to hold a title on your jacket that only 12 out of over 14,000 members get to wear. May you always keep your faith strong and let your heart guide you in all that you do. Congratulations. Caitlin, as Penny Ryle State Vice President-elect, you've been blessed with a year of service. May your year be impactful and full of memories. Congratulations. Cody Pryor. 
As Lake Cumberland Region Vice President Elect, it is your duty to serve not only your chapter, your region, and your state, but to give back to the members of the Kentucky FFA Association. May your work be diligent and be taken seriously. Congratulations. It is an honor to be an officer in the FFA. From time to time during the year, you may encounter difficult situations, but through cooperation, hard work, dedication, you will succeed and the FFA will prosper. Do each of you accept the responsibilities of your office and we do your best to uphold the ideals and principles of the FFA? If so, please say we do. I now declare each of you properly and duly installed into the respective offices to which you were elected. May your year of service be marked with integrity, dedication, a co cooperative spirit, seek har harmony among your fellow officers, and set high standards of leadership for all association members. Ladies and gentlemen, for the very first time, it is my great pleasure to introduce to you the 2014-2015 Kentucky FFA State Officer Team. With full-time four-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, and a drive-over mower deck, the X700 Signature Series are simply the most advanced engineered garden tractors we have ever built. Innovation, that's how we run. Nothing runs like a deer.